Hey guys, this is DShack Tech, and today I'll be doing another Mac OS X Helpful Hints episode. Let's get started. I'm showing you guys um, the dashboard, and basically you can get this through your hot corners um, and expose and spaces, or you can get to it by the function F12 key. So basically this is a dashboard, this is where you can have all your widgets, you can control them however you like have them as wherever you want, calendar, your stickies, notes, but you can also add, which is down the bottom left hand corner, if you hit the plus sign, you have this whole bunch of uh, widgets you can add, all you can do is plop them on, and there you have them, just like that, and you can delete, but what we, you guys should already know that, but what you guys probably don't know is that you can actually add and download widgets, so if you go to the Apple web page, and you go to their search bar, and type in widgets, you should be able to go to their widgets web page so there it is and this is basically where you can download widgets and actually install them for your um, dashboard so right now here's one PEMDAS like their featured one like here's some staff favorites and you can just download them just like any other download and it starts downloading right to your thing and so once you've downloaded it you can go back to your dashboard hit um, plus go back and then there it is PEMDAS and there it is right on your dashboard able just download it from the website and there's tons of widgets you can download from the website which really um, makes this dashboard exponential at how useful it can be so that is dashboard and that is just the first thing so it's the next thing I'm going to be talking about so have you ever had um, music on your iTunes library that does not have album artwork and it just shows that blank um, music note as your album artwork and it's sort of, anno it's sort of annoying because you don't have the album artwork and you just want to see it when you want listen to your music well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So all you got to do is go into iTunes and find the song that you want to have the album artwork for. And so right now I'm going to do this song, Award Tour, um, a tribe called Quest. And so basically right now I do not have any artwork for this song. So what you're going to do is make sure you have as much information as possible for the song that you have. You want to highlight it, right click, and you're going to get this pull-up menu. And what you want to do is go to Get Album Artwork, click on that, and it should... I see at the top of the screen it just downloaded and there it is the album artwork for that song um, this works for most songs if you have enough information as I said you do need the information if there's only the song title it probably won't be enough um, so that is one downside to this but this is how I get all my album artwork for my iTunes songs it's a really cool um, visual effect when you want to listen to your songs on your iPod so there you have it um, album artwork on iTunes um, and lastly for today is how to um, get the Apple sign um, text um, most of you guys have seen this before and you maybe some of you guys wonder how you get it all it is is alt shift K and that's how you get the Apple sign so alt shift K there it is uh, Apple sign Apple sign Apple sign um, I'll also give you guys the command key in the description box below I don't really know how you get that I copy that off some website um, so basically that's little and Apple fanboy um, text right there for you guys to use in any of your work um, pages or whatnot. That is it for this episode of Mac OS 10 Helpful Hints. Hope you guys like it. Leave any thoughts in the comment section down below to tell me what I should do for next episode. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel DShack Tech for more Mac OS 10 Helpful Hints, app reviews, app news, and rumors. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.